Broadly speaking, what's at issue in this case is whether corporations and labor unions can participate in election campaigns basically the way individuals can. There are laws uh, and regulations against corporations and unions um, making um, uh, expenditures that basically call for the election or defeat of a candidate in federal elections and also in about half the states. And the court could rule that, that those laws and regulations are not valid and that corporations like people are, are free to spend what they, what they want. Well, supporters of campaign finance law say that if the court broadly rules uh, in favor of, of corporations and labor unions, that it could unleash millions and millions of dollars uh, in, in federal election campaigns and in, in about half the states where there are currently limits. Well, this is a case that uh, directly asks whether the court should overrule two precedents, uh, one that dates from 1990 and one that dates from 2003. The court is typically very reluctant to overrule uh, its precedents. Um, but, and and in, particularly in this case, both Chief Justice Roberts and Justice Alito were questioned at length about precedents when they were before the Senate during their confirmation hearings. And they both talked about the importance of adhering to precedents, even if had they been on the case when it was initially decided, they would have voted the other way. So this case really tests what they said in confirmation hearings um, uh, and, and whether they'll uh, adhere to that or, or whether they will feel free to overrule the, the two precedents at issue.